Christoph Przingis was not happy, and he believes that he should be an NBA All-Star. Now, do you think that he got snubbed, and does he have a point? Well, he was not named a starter, um, but he does have a chance to be a reserve for the um, All-Star. And I can see how he felt, he felt snubbed as uh, a starter, but as I mentioned before with Russell Westbrook, I mean, it's so hard because to, there's only X amount of spaces for starters, and it's hard to really jockey and determine who's better and who's worse. I can make a case for Joel Embiid as well as I can make a, a case for Chris Stapp. So I, I can see where he's coming from, but I don't think he'll be left out of the all-star activities. He'll be out in La La Land and getting out from the cold weather and doing all-star things and feeling the love because people, they generally like Chris Stapps. There's really not much not to like about him. Yeah, I think if you take head-to-head -head Embiid and Przingis, I think without a doubt in the numbers and the way that they stack up, I think that Embiid is the one that's deserving to play for this All-Star game as a starter. And, of course, he still has a chance to go ahead and be, make it into the game without being a starter as a reserve. So, you know, it's been an up-and-down season for him, but I think that he's shown that uh, he, can cert he has certainly improved a lot over the course of the last couple of years since he's been in this league. So I think, I hope the best for him, but I think that, yeah, he might be down that he didn't get named a starter, but I'm sure he'll find a way to, his way to get it on the team. Yeah, and part of the voting is from the fans, and fans really need to have a connection with you. And like I mentioned before, he is a gem when it comes to social media. <laughs> he right. is just really funny and has a lot of personality. So I can see that putting him over the edge over Chris Dabbs. Right.